Hello my fellow gamers and welcome to episode 3 of our Lord Scrog Christmas campaign where you won't believe that I've actually gone and got myself a slight code. It's only slight, but yeah, I have been blessed by the horn one and actually you probably will be coughing throughout this episode. I, I hope you enjoy it. Um, coughs for everyone, blessings for all. Um, what happened in the previous episode? Well, if you really want a good quick wrap up, I'm Justin Lowe, our subscriber, who's done a fantastic job in the last two episodes. If you go to the previous episode and just scroll to the comments, he's written almost like a documentary style um, story of everything that happened in the previous episode. So I'm just going to leave him to write up in the comments what happens. So if you want to know what happened previously, just go to the previous episode and just look at the comments. Fantastic work there. Um, but sum up, generally, Lord Scroke. Pushed up. We had Itch on the back foot. But we need at least two armies to take this garrison on. It is just too big and powerful to take on. Especially if reinforcements come in. To take on with one weak Skaven army. But I feel that the Lizardmen bribed him. Because our second general here actually betrayed us. And then we had to fight a civil war. And the time we've done that. we got a second general now. Um... But yeah, it just had the chance to recover slightly, and we do not have the strength to attack them. So, we're going to have to just wait on that front. We did make peace with the pirate elves, though. Purely temporarily, because there was no point having our forces stretched between these two far points. No point whatsoever. So, I want to get Itcher, claim that, and then we can focus on getting these guys. Um, and possibly even dealing with the dwarves. They've only got two settlements. If we can overwhelm them... If they haven't got much of an army, we might be able to overwhelm them, grab those settlements, and then we got a really nice castle defence right at that choke point. And you've got Itcher here as a defence point as well, which will protect our flank from the mountains. So then we can focus our strength up here. Anyway, <clears throat> let's end turn, because I think we're literally at the end turn point. Maybe I should have done that beforehand, but... <clears throat> Maybe I should have done the intro during the... Uh, um, end turn screen. That would have been that would have been a clever idea, would it? So we are at war with, um, the order of a techless. Maybe because he just randomly came over for no reason in the first episode, and we slaughtered his army. So he's not thrilled. But in the last turn, our um, friends, the pirate elves, actually declared war on them. So now those two will be fine out when we finish Itcher off, which is nice. Um, I feel like the foes are so tech. If they've got. If they don't have any other settlements, they've already lost the game. They've already our bonus objectives got completed by a different faction, which is just silly. Um, I may also make this episode a bit shorter if there's a good point, like say just over half an hour, forty-five minutes in. Like I said, I'm not quite myself, not very well, um, which I just take as a blessing. But also, I've got what's going on, so we'll see how this episode goes. We'll see how we do on the timer, and if there's a good point for a conclusion, the wrap up for the episode would we'll do that. Oh, so that reminds me, I need to change some names. I will do that in a minute. God, don't just go on. Just on and on and on. Fantastic. The Bray Herd comes. Well, there's nowhere near me. I think you should only get that if they're actually in your territory. Heroes not move. Oh, yes, we do have our first... Warlock engineer. Um, Warlock engineer. So let's go... Actually, we're going to want to go... This way, because surely our first place we should get is the Awakening. And then we can start spreading over here. Right, we need to recruit. I'm sure you are. Now, I was told off because I need to get more... Well, as you can see, I've got... I need more skirmishes and artillery. We've not reached that level of technology yet. Could get Storm Vermin. Or we could upgrade Mangrove. That's not going to give us any more technology, is it? I think we're better off. Screw it, we're going to do that. I mean, shit, we're getting like two grand a turn in. Ah! Oh. We could do that. But that means we can't really recruit anyone. Because we've now got well, 830. If we go cheap, if we go like Skaven Slaves. There you go, you wanted me to get skirmishers. They're the only skirmishers I can get. Oh, so what were the names I had to do? Please hold. Uh... Right, let's just make sure I get this right. So this guy... Um... Ah, that's it. So... I remember, anyone could do this, guys. So this one's been called Skitty. 
tab doesn't work on that. The blessed. I feel blessed at the moment, that's for sure. Skitty the blessed. And then one of our plague monks will do the most veteran one. Oh, and this, this one is his own unit. Skitty's. Good rat. There you go. So anyway, don't forget guys, anyone in the comment section can name units. Obviously you can't rename them, it's already been done. But um, obviously we can rename our cities. We've got a general to name. we got an engineer we can name. Um, or down to you, just comment below guys. I think we're already... What's great is we're raising Skaven Corruption. By quite a bit, actually. But we want to get this army built up as quickly as we can. And, oh, it'll be four turns yet. We could be here a while. But I can close this tab down. And skip this and get us straight to the next turn. Oh, chaos stirs. I mean, it's not going to affect us in the slightest. I mean, technically we are part of chaos. So, not really too worried. We will get... Um, normal clan rats. I'm not willing to spend that much on them. Let's see. What did that give us? Oh, a massive garrison. Look at that. Damn. But that does just up the garrison. Oh, okay. What have we got over here? My objects. Night runner. I cannot obey. I'm sure you can't. I think that is literally it. Wow. Um. Yeah, they're getting their numbers back up. That's fine. We can handle that. I mean, does that make us tired? No, I don't think it does. No, it just um, it's not a force march that makes you tired. So that's good. Ooh, we can upgrade you. What can we get you? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, that's what I mean by you're gonna have that ever so often. Um Guess we could do the assassins here, couldn't we? That'd be quite fun having the assassins in this little bit here. We'll have to wait until the next turn though. Yeah, because we're not ground short. Yeah, we'll wait till next turn and then we can start building that. Um we should have more money coming in now. Oh, you've got to pop this surplus as well, have you? Oh, not enough to actually... Oh, for that one. Okay. Okay, that's not as important, then. Right. Take everything. That's always good research. Um, well, the settlement's for them, but it's saying that they're not dead yet. So, um... Uh, let's get mostly source warriors. All right, then. How long will it take to build that building? Only two turns. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um Okay, number four of them. Beautiful. Um no, that's point actually. Expand the end end up. Don't think we'd have the money for that. Just because we built that building. I think again we'll wait for the next turn. Yeah, we can just go up and have a nose and just hello. I have no idea what the Blessed Red are doing. Oh, they've taken this elf in there. How? They've got one unit. How are they doing this? How are they being the high elves in their garrisons? It's kind of embarrassing to be... Hang on, is that them there? It is, isn't it? Cove Sotex. So yeah, it's their last one, I assume. Okay, then. What research do we have available now? The menace below, plus these are when they see that would actually be really good. That one's more just about scaling slaves, and I'm not that bothered about that. Ah, but we were thinking again, night runners, weren't we? We'll start that one then. Or should we do that one? Because then we kind of finish that chain off in four turns, but that one will only be. Mm. No, we will start that. That will start that. Unassigned skill point to Skitty the Blessed. I've misspelled that to bleast. Well done. Um, let's do it that we got magical reserves. And I will correct that spelling mistake. There you go. Blessed with bleast. That's um, 
because that's what we're going with. Kind of a race to try and get as many units as we can, as quick as we can. Guys, we are attacking. And they now are. Um, we have the enemy surprise on them. But can Scroke and the others make the most out of this? Because last time we did this, it ended horribly. But that was just an army of clan rats. We do have rat ogres. We got. Double magic, we got plague catapults and plague monks and that. You'd say the favour of ba Bounty Power is more than their favour, which is interesting. They are mine now, now. Let's go for it. I could see being honestly that, yeah, we'll kill them, but it'll knacker us out at the same time. Oh, it's this one of the cliffs, and oh, fantastic. Means we can put like our capo up here and it can't get hit. They have to come all the way around. Do like the ambush battles, they're quite amusing. Something different. <coughs> yes, thank you, Horned One. <laughs> but yeah, if we can destroy this, this is like everything they've got left now. If we can destroy this, and we got a second army building, we can um push back and finish them off. At long last, could it be that in this episode we finish off Itcher and Gorok? Well, we're definitely gambling that. Got four times the amount. Worth it. Okay, let's have a look then. We should definitely attack on this side, I feel. Ah, oh, good. For a moment I thought it wasn't letting us deploy them. It's like, what? Why? Let's see, what we'll do is we'll deploy along here. And this will be our main push right in here. Right, anyway, let's get our clan match. Nice big line, like that. Now, they haven't got anything large to worry about, have they? Here's the front here. So, this is where we want our generals to be, to be honest. Is that the front? Taking these two on, because we can break him. We can kill them all, sort of thinking. So, him and the two plague rats will go here. Slaves, do we? You know what? Slaves can go up here. They're, oh no, they're clan match, aren't they, without shields? But still, they're practically. Yeah. Um, you know what? I might actually put these up here. And the plan would be they come that way, we come that way, they come in straight there, and they go there. Now, where do I want the rat ogres to be? We don't want them near any spears. I think all their spears at the front. So I'm thinking if we place them. Um, Sort of at the back, they give us the punch at the back to smash through. Um, in fact, if we bring you to the front of the line, they're going to be in range pretty much immediately. What's the numbers looking like? They're not great. Um, is there any damn blessed ones in there? Any blessed? Good. <laughs> Because they were a massive nuisance last time. They were the fins that were holding the fin together. I think what we do is we'll aim the clay catapult at them. Unless they bundle up. Which is what they tend to do. So. You guys. Are going to bundle them and them. And then you guys are going to go there. And there. And you two. I've got to team up on him. Beautiful. Listen, what's our scroll friend? Oh, nice. Blast attack. Very nice. And then you guys are going to push up like so. The rat ogres are going to push up as well. And we do have the Skaven over here coming in for the back. Hi. What do we want you to aim at? I don't know what the white means. Does that mean it's impeded? Or is it even this too close? 
is to say, yeah, it looks like green means it's a good good arc. That being the case, we'll do that then. Go, go, go. And of course, we've got Vermintide here. Nice, nice. Right into that bundle there. So now we're do attacks in. Beautiful. Oh, there's skinks hiding in there. Oh, you guys are being attacked. That's fine, because now we can do double the breath. Well, we would if we could. That'll do it. Um, yeah, you're yeah, having a good time there. You guys can go into here. You four line up along here. Beautiful. That ogres can just get in there. Actually, you guys just help out with that. Close range. Do you think this counts as close range? Too close? Target too close. All right, then. All right, then. Um, what does that do? Oh, that just helps with... Yeah, attack them. You lot, attack them. Um, play Catapult. Could you be so kind and fire into there? I know it's not a great arc. Good reinforcements in there. The Rat Ogre's having a good time. You guys get in there. You guys get in there. You guys, this is our rear charge moment. This is when we go in and just smash the whole damn lot of them. Change the registers there on the fin. Outstanding. Yeah, they're having to reorganize to get into a decent fight. Hang on, what? Why have you gone there? I told you to fight there. Honestly. Um, what do we want to do? Minus 30 armor. Yeah, right then. Go, go, go. Yeah, we're pretty much smashing their army. In comes catapults. Beautiful hit. Beautiful. Ah, you get out of there because you're having the absolute snot kick out of you. You can quickly do that. What we really need is some clan rats over here. Oh dear, we've lost one of our guys. Well, we can drink that potion speed. There we go. Those arm um, clan rats doing our job. You, go for that skink chief. He's having clearly far too much fun and we can't allow that. Oh, even he's broken. Kill him. Kill him. We have victory. Wait, hold fire. You, boys. I swear, I really need that potion of speed now, don't I? Whoops. Right, the rat ogres are on their way. This is beautiful. This is we absolutely smashed the army and barely took casualties. Yeah, if you thought you were out of luck before of all these rats, mate, yeah, the, the rat ogres are on their way now. Right, anyway, let's get out of the way. Scroke, you've had your last hit. You've done good, but... Oh, oh, actually. Any of them get a hit, he's going to get poisoned now. 
Yep, poison. So now he's even slower. Go on, take him out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Victory is ours. That was actually a really good clean battle. I'm quite happy with that. <coughs> 139 kills by the catapult. They did it. Those two clan match actually did really well holding up a, like a third of their army while the catapult cleared at them. That was brilliant. We can recover from that really quickly. They can't. Okay, then we need more plague monks, apparently. Loyalty, though. Oh, we just got an assassin. Didn't we? Guide us, horned one. Or is that one of his? No bubbles upon them. Hang on, what was that about? Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's there to keep an eye on him in case we have more treachery. What we will do... ...is give him some armour. Oh, of course, yeah, because I gave the other guy all the stuff, hoping that would help, and it turned out it didn't. Anyway, yes, we gained some levels. Um... Uh, different plague monkey units. That's what we want, really, isn't it? Or we could start doing this. Oh, wrong button. Vengeance on serpents. Uh, that's only really. Good. We'll go with this because it ups. We're still a full strength, pretty much. We will quickly jump to here. What's the regiment of renown we've got, anyway? Ooh, very shiny. But what I might do is get rid of them for it. Nice. Um, right. One more turn to that's done. One more turn to that's done. We've got six slots left. So what I might do is a couple of storms that I'm going to save the money. Oh, we've got to do the Under Empire. Let's not forget that. We'll do a couple of Storm Vermin, then jump across and do like four of the big um, the assassin units. Yes, yes. But we are going to do this. And we've done it. The first one. So, got to sort this out about getting it expanded now. But I'll look at all that out of the episode because I don't want to drag it out for you guys. But we have an Ender Empire. So now this guy can start making his way this way. And, oh, you can do... Uh, yeah, I think we're better off doing that, just getting 10% off everything. Because that's what he's always got to be doing, isn't it, is doing that. So we've got that. Um, getting our health back up, nice and quick. Quicker than they will, that's for sure. But they're now a cruiser as well now. Though again, that's what I'd like to hear. We did fail that mission, that is very unfortunate. Yes, I want to say they can't have much budget, but actually they probably do. Scaling corrupts is still going up, that's hilarious. But they've got gold mine in there. So that will be affecting them. Right, you should be able to get Storm Vermin now, yeah? Very nice. So these are just clown match, aren't they? So we want two of these guys. Uh, we could technically start getting these guys. Ah, alright then. Yeah, that's fine. It just speeds up a little bit, do not it? Instead of waiting for so long. And you. You're in, in my objects. No, I'm sorry. Jeez, so it's about him, isn't it? Um. 
I mean, our money is going down, and that's going to go down even further. So, how are we doing with health? Oh, we're just waiting for Skitty the Blessed to be healed, which would be one more turn, I believe. Yes. And then next turn, we'll go back in and start up in the Skaven Corruption again. Because if that reaches the limit, then a Skaven army would just randomly appear and could help us. Oh, that the games begin. Happy Ponderous. That's always good to see. Um, interesting last turn, we did get attacked. But we withdraw because it wasn't in our favour, I don't believe. Not only that, but the Blessed Legion has declared war on Itcher, which is very strange. So we don't have any more regiments of renown to enjoy. Um, really do want a couple more of them. But they'll be done next turn anyway, so we'll then jump across up to here. And can, um, yeah, recruit the units. How are you for defense? Not great. Not great at all, to be honest. Don't really offer us anything in regards to more units, but... And if we go here and set up Ambush... Unleash boxes. It's still going up, but not as much as I'd like it. But we'll fix that. We'll fix it. Where those Yumi's be at? Hmm, there's nothing here. Just empty fields. Oh, there they are. All right. Uh, yeah. We'll worry about that later. Our money at the moment is going towards the War of Itcher. So just getting the foundation there, it's good enough. Um, yeah, one more turn. We'll have a really good army here. They'll come up and recruit some more guys. If they try and attack the settlement, they'll get ambushed. So, let's see how this goes. Well, that's problematic. Um, the ambush failed. So we're now under attack. But you've got these weak cannon fodder, which is going to do a decent job, probably just holding them, keeping them busy. Uh, how are we doing for food? Screw it, let's just go max. Let's literally just go further out and get that like, eight of them, and then we can just keep throwing them down as the battle goes on. It's going to be a long battle, I feel. Gamble that. Beautiful. So our reinforcements are deploying here, and theirs deploying here. It's good to know. And their main army is along this bit here. Okay. So we can't... This isn't going to end well. This force would not be able to stand up to that. So I'm thinking... Get these guys. Because these guys can kind of be here and protect them as a screen. Yeah. Um, yeah, try and bring them around because we can. These guys gotta do. Let me give him a wake up call. And the reinforcements are coming across this way. Get those opening shots off right. Let's get a defense line up. Can we do have the high ground? Oh, good. They're attacking some um, source warriors. And they don't have shields either. That's fantastic. So, right. Let's go. They are the normal clan rats. So, we want you in a nice line like this. Then we want you guys. Probably do a two on each flank. Something like that. And like that. Um, oh, we do have the regiment of renowned as well now as well. Which is good. Okay, you can go up there. 
and the clan rats on their own can just go on the flank like that. Rat ogres like that. Actually, should I smash the rat ogres quickly into there? Yeah, we'll do that. That'll be a giggle. Um, what about you guys? You guys can just go there. And we got our um, slingers. Go there. Turn off skirmish mode. Let's see if I've forgotten anyone. Yeah, the two plague monks. Well, that's just rude, isn't it? Get some good shots off there. Let's keep them busy a bit. Right, okay, they've sent like two units here. That's actually good for us. They're splitting their forces up. Let's quickly move those in a position where we can take the most out of it. Who are you shooting again? Them. Okay, ignore them for now. They're sort of being dealt with already. Let's deal with them. Get them done. Um, you're attacking there, no problem. And we are kind of pushing up on this side. That, hang on, are they hitting the regiment with an end? The fire, aren't, aren't I that one? Am I not flaming attacks? Aren't we like fire resistant 70%? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you shoot them. You do that. You do you. It's actually really good for us. Right, anyway, th these guys have actually just ran into this blatant trap. That is, doesn't mean we won't actually survive it. But um, it looks good on paper when we do it. Anyway, so that's that done. Um, yeah, we kind of just want to push in, really, don't we? We want to pit them on the back foot. So I'll get you there, you around. Sorry, around. Thank you. Your two units. Actually, they're already engaged. You to that one. You to that one. You are killing those skins quite nicely. You've got. Um, oh, he's a big one. He's a big boy, isn't he? All right, that's um something to consider. Well, actually, I'll say that. Send you in then. <laughs> and could you guys maybe focus fire on him? Be really helpful. And is there anything the plague guys can do to help? Um, I think in a moment we could do some cool stuff. Oh, oh, we could do that. That'll be fun. Um, yeah, I think we're all good here. They're just getting some nice shots into him. You know what? I think I'll send these guys in to help reinforce the lat. And go. But we put us a full encirclement there. In fact, let's completely encircle them. Murder, kill, kill? Sounds like a pretty solid plan to me. I don't know about you guys, but... Um... Oh, that's what I was meant to do. Lord Scroke. He can bless with poison, but you guys wither. Let's see how well that goes. Rat ogres are getting pretty beaten up. I think that's... And these guys are getting shot by fire, but they have fire. That is hilarious that they're doing that. It's like, out of all the targets, that's like the worst one they could have aimed for. Boom. There we go. Lord Scroke, how about you get in there and show them how it's done? Plague monks, I want you to go and show up the centre. That, that's looking a bit flimsy, I'm not going to lie. How's Finn's over here doing? 
Uh, they're getting there. How am I about ogres? Because they're quite important. And... Ah, get them out, get them out, get them out. They've got um, spearmen in there now. No, no, you shouldn't. He's running the other way. All right. Don't abandon the front lines, flipping egg. No, we're going to send you in. Because I want to send you into the front lines. So we're going to shut down the salamanders. Right, you guys are good. You are going to... Oh, their main line's broken. Oh, fantastic. This is when everything starts to break. Yeah, look, we're just running through their lines now. Just everything's broke. Just send it in, guys. Just send it in. Everything's just breaking. Bands power swinging huge in our favour now. Good, good. Get in there. There's still quite a bit of resistance on this side, so that's what we should focus on now, is getting people on this side. Where are you going? Get over here. Right, um, you guys chase them. Yeah, everything's just crumbling. This is glorious. And wherever there is resistance, I'm sure we can fix it. Like that. And that. We need my warriors flee. Oh, no, lad. Really? Oh, no, there they go. They've all shattered. Glorious victory is ours. <coughs> Just the light to kill our own guys and kill them, so there's no point in keep going. That went rather well. I mean, there's so a lot of kills for 136, 215. But I mean, these guys, they took away two or three units, and that's all they had to do. Well, those five. They weren't going to do much else, let's be honest. But the others. I can't believe the salamanders firing on the ones of fire resistance. Mwah, beautiful. Amber's foiled, but um, we pretty much got a full strength army left. In fact, we did barely lose anything. That is impressive. You are. Oh, summon to unit of plague monks. That'd be good. Um, causes major. Yeah, that would be, um... I think we'll go more of that, though, purely because that is something we do a lot of. I'm so tempted that if I attack them, would it just be an instant, like, we could just kill them, job done. This army's done. Look how loyal he's now, and that's because we're giving them storm vermin. Uh, we'll get some more night runners. There we go. So that's our new army. Core clan rats, some storm vermin, a lot of assassins, and some slingers. So, be interested to see what happens there. Oh, so this guy needs to move along. Yes, yes. Is that a star thing? I'm pretty sure it isn't. Nice, that one down there. Okay, then. Not too worried about that. Um, yeah, let's see what happens if we attack. Could we just auto resolve it? No. We're just going here. There you go. We're getting loads of replenishment. We're just going to literally out replenish them in this, right? So, our scale and corruption isn't high enough that it causes damage. Um, but we can upgrade this. That probably would be worth it. But then if we upgrade that, we get a lot more money from our port here. 
How much are you get? Yeah. Be another ten percent on top of that. We can upgrade that, but I'm not too worried about that. I am food's fine, so we don't need to do that. That defense is fine, we hope. Um so I am thinking I'm just up in that because then it's a nice just adds more garrison, don't it? And we could give the garrison building as well. So we just know this flank's protected from any puss that might just magically appear here. So I think I am gonna go for that, to be honest. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Um, yeah, and we'll end turn there. Right, literally nothing happened, but we recruited a couple of units, which means now this army can... Boom, there you go. Um, and you're pretty much at their full strength. They've had to fall right back. Um, of course, here is not moved. Right, so we've got that there, which as money, that our money has dropped hugely. That's the thing we need to now sort that out. I mean, all our efforts have been for the war of itch. I mean, this episode has been absolutely just back forth, back forth, which is great. I do like that. We've fired a war of attrition and we're winning it. As in, we're killing more of them than they're killing of us, which against Skaven, that's not good. That's not good. Uh, we're not actually got any trade of anyone, so that's pointless. But yeah, so guys, I'm going to wrap up the episode there because I said I'm not too well. But we've had a good action-packed couple of episodes and we've been able to get the upper hand over Itza and yeah, just being able to push them back. Every time they try and push up, we just destroy them. And now, that was just if one army. We now have a second army with Storm Vermin and Night Runners and Assassins. So that's going to be absolutely fantastic. Our economy is looking pretty healthy for having two full stack armies. That's pretty healthy. And our food is top notch. So guys, we're going to wrap it up there. Don't forget to comment below your thoughts of the campaign, names, suggestions, etc. And next episode, I'm hoping we'll get, which will be on Monday, I will be taking it. Uh, I know I've said that a couple of times, but I do feel that we're in a better position. This episode was to try and draw them out, weaken them down to reinforcements arrive. Reinforcements have come. They're now weaker than they were before. So, um, yeah, it is pretty awesome. And don't forget, guys, if you do comment on this video, I won't respond to it to not the next one, but the one after, because I record these in pairs. So, um, yeah, you get this one, and then I'll record the second one shortly, and then I'll put your comments in. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you for the next one. Till then. Take care.